Ben Breezy, and you're watching Inside News. Pow! Minneapolis's own Coco and Breezy are making a spectacle of themselves, literally. At only 21 years old, they're rising to the top of the fashion and entertainment industry by meshing their unique style with a love for design to create captivating eyewear that promises to please any fashionista. Um, when we started out here in Minnesota, we created our eyewear only for ourselves, not even thinking of it to be a company. Um, we created our eyewear to block ourselves away from creating eye contact with these people who never understood our style. People used to stare at us, they never really understood us, because we were being individuals. On our 19th birthday, we went to New York only for a visit, and people were wondering, oh my gosh, where can I purchase your sunglasses? And so I thought to Coco, like, wow, this can actually be a product that can sell, and it's new to the market, and I think we should do it. And so we went back to Minnesota, we were working at the Mall of America at Justice and Metro Park, we quit our jobs, we sold our car, we said mom and dad were moving to New York, and they said girls, go for it. And we just up and moved, and ever since then, the rest has been history. Um, the reason why we chose New York to, um, to move forward with our business is because it's a, it's a different market out there. And it's a whole other world where people do understand the fashion systems out there and the businesses out there is a lot more different. And so I think that people were more, I think that our product was so new because we were visionaries with our product that it was only right and it was a perfect time in the market for it to go out there. Yeah, Minnesota, we would have made it as big as we did. Because out there, it's like, you can be, you can be at, in one spot at a restaurant, you can be sitting by somebody from a magazine, or the next spot you can go to. It's always amazing networking, and it's all about networking, word of mouth, and just, and we branded ourselves by looking like this. People were wondering, like, okay, you guys look cool, but, but what, what do, do you do? do? And that was our chance to be like, oh, well, we design sunglasses. And that's how we got Kelly Osborne and Ashanti to wear our product after three days of living in New York. Kelly Osborne and Coco and Breezy. I'm obsessed with these glasses. <laughs> these right here, um, matter of fact, this is like our original piece it's called the Gold Liners. You've probably seen Nicki Minaj, Ashanti. Who else wears the Gold Liners? Um, I think they're mostly seen. Ooh, they're mostly seen on Nicki Minaj. She wore them a lot before <laughs> when we first started. Since New York, we actually last year we traveled to Paris two times within six months. So besides like the U.S. Um, France and like um, London and Japan are like one of our other biggest markets. We got to do a project with um, Alain Varnay. He's a French designer. We also did a project with Salima Optique. She's another French designer, and we got to work with John Charles like Casper Jack, which is another French designer as well. And we so, also shot yeah. the the biggest car company in Europe, which is based in France, called Renault. So our French market is, is probably the, is the second largest demographic for us, but we definitely have a huge demographic in Japan and um, different European countries in LA, so we love it. years now we have been on this journey. We started our business when we were 19 years old. Mm. And how, is, how have you changed since you began? Oh wow, we've I mean, changed a lot. We've grown. We haven't changed. Change isn't the word, but we've, we've evolved. And we, we've evolved. We've always been our ourselves. And the reason why we moved forward is because we stayed authentic. I think any entrepreneur or any business owner, in order to, to stay successful, it's all about staying authentic, but allowing yourself to grow and evolve. It's all about reinventing yourself. Yeah, because when we first started, we were very timid, quiet girls, and then when you move to New York, you cannot be timid. You have to be like, you have, tough to, be a, a tough, you have to have a lot of tough skin. We've been in a lot of magazines, probably over like 100 now, but like, these right here are our favorite. This one right here is, is, is awesome. This is New York Magazine. It's like equivalent as how big New York Times is in New York, and Obama is on the cover. So it kind of makes my day that we're in the same magazine as the which cover means of Obama. Obama's seen this, which means you see me inside of here. <laughs> Hopefully. I, I um, our team in Minnesota is amazing. amazing. So first it started off with me and Breezy, Breezy and I. We started off together, um, it was very overwhelming. Then we got a business manager, he owns, um, he works and owns two other companies as well. So he helped us with our whole business structure. 
And then we have Luis, he's, which is, and it's crazy. We have two people. No, we have three people from Minnesota that work on our team in New York. Then we have Luis Santiago. He does, like, our industrial design. He works on the design team. And then we have Asa Rice. He is amazing. He, he, he works for our marketing department. And it's so amazing that, Europe. like, yeah. And then we have Europe. She's, she's our assistant. In Minnesota. She's our assistant. She does, like, a, all the admin stuff with our emails and everything like that. And so it's amazing. One thing that I learned from, like, other entrepreneurs is that it's not only you. Even though it's your company, it's your baby. It takes a full team to make it, like, successful. And I think that, too, um, the importance of having a team is that, like, me and Co Coco and I, when we first started, we did everything ourselves. And, of course, you do everything yourself when you first start out, but in order to move forward, you can't, we're not experts at, at things that other people are experts at. So we have to let the people who are experts do their jobs and let us be designed in business. And so um, a lot of people see us in the limelight, but if it wasn't for us, or if it wasn't for our team, we wouldn't be where we are. And so it's all about our team. It's not just Coco and Breezy. Coco and Breezy is the name, but it's not just us two. It's our whole team that makes us who we are. This collection right here, it's called Wearable Art. It was very inspired by art. So it's pieces of art that you can wear. And you can just have it sit here and look pretty. Tell me a little bit about uh, the wearable art. How did you come up with that design? Oh, I'll take that one. Um, the way that we came up with the wearable art collection is we were on the plane one time. And I was feeling a certain way and I felt like... Because when we were on the plane, we always feel like we're like on like a spaceship soaring through a new city. And so... In my mind, I seen black light, and I seen art pieces floating in the air, and I grabbed it, I put it on my, my wrist, and people on Earth would call it a bracelet, but we call it wearable art. And so I think that it's pretty much just taking an accessory piece, because we don't like the word jewelry designers, because it sounds so commercial, and we're not commercial designers, we're, we're artists. artists. I don't even like being called a designer. We're artists that create pieces that you can wear. And so it's really inspired by pretty much just like pieces of art that you can it actually can fit on, quote unquote, like a bracelet. And it, it all glows in black light, it looks super awesome. So it looks like it's beaming in the, in the bright lights. We're interested in, we're interested in music, not as far as, like we can't sing or anything, but we really get inspired by music. And I think the way the market is right now, is all about collaborating. And so we, I see ourselves definitely collaborating with the music artists, whether it's like a, a sunglass for them, or rather it's, um, I don't know, who knows what we can do. I mean, together. recently too, we just did our first project. We produced and directed a short fashion film starring Salidi E. Banks. So that's a huge project So that's for us. a big project that's not only design, but we're using our other artistic skills. Yeah. And produce and direct But we've been working on some, like, some amazing canvases as well, and painting, just getting all of our, because I think that like the first year we were so stuck on only making sunglasses that our imagination got super watered cluttered, down yeah. and so cluttered. It was, it was a routine. And I don't like working in a routine. I like branching off and doing other stuff. And so us painting on our canvases, it like it brought it like made our imagination more wide. That's why we don't watch TV because yeah, TV we don't watch TV. filters your imagination and it's it's just clutter. We never watch TV. Like we don't own a TV at our apartment. We don't watch TV at anyone's house really. And if I do watch TV, maybe it'll be like Judge Joe Brown and I go to my mom's house. And yeah, it's that's like, only that's only once a year. mom's house. It's like mom or, mom or dad's house because like you never get to see the parents. You feel like you're at home. You lay out on the couch but and we, have your first lazy time. Yeah, I think that if you're trying to go for your dreams, it's always important to let, like, don't let no be like the stopper for you. Anything that you want in life, you can go for it. And we're really big on, especially if you want to be a designer, music artist, or just even have a product, it's all about branding and marketing and having a structured business. You can't have a product without having a structured business. And, couple and also, too, about like, if you want to be a designer, even like a business owner, you have to have a story behind while you're doing it. Don't do it because it's a trend. Because people have to, like, they have to cause that. They have to have an emotional, like, attraction to, like, your business or your company or your product. Also, too, you have to be very passionate in what you're doing. Because as a business owner, as whatever artist, as any career you want, you're going to have your ups and you're going to have your super downs. When you have your downtime, you're passionate, you're just going to quit. If you're not passionate, you're gonna quit. But if you're passionate, you're gonna like you're gonna stick to that. You're gonna go down to like zero dollars and still keep pushing harder and harder. You're gonna and take that way time back up. to reinvest in yourself and figure out what's next. That's cool. I got one last question because even though that was the last question, what do you see when you look in the mirror? What who is Coco and Breezy to you? Oh, Coco and Breezy to me are definitely girls that have grown over the years. 
um, Coco and Breezy before, we were like, ugh, we were so shy, we were so timid, we, we were self-conscious. We were both on the outside, but inside we were torn apart because no one understood us. And people would make fun of us. We were, we were, even though we had each other, we right. felt like we, we were alone. alone. We felt like we were super alone. And Coco and Breezy today are strong young ladies that are entrepreneurs, that are business owners, that are artists, and we're the leaders of our new generation. We're the future of fashion, and we're here to guide other people no matter how old they are. Because I don't like people that, the older people, I hate when they say, oh, I wish, when I was your age, I wish I could have been doing what you're doing now. No, it's, it's, not, it's never too late, and it doesn't matter how old you are. Whatsoever. So we want to be an inspiration not only to our youth, but to anybody, no matter how old they are, to show them that anything is possible. Exactly. No one man should have all that power. The clock's ticking, I just count the hours. Stop chipping, I'm